Apostle Peter said in Acts chapter 4 and the 10th verse, Let it be known to you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was rejected by you builders, which has become the chief cornerstone. Nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Ladies and gentlemen, I was born a Christian. To be specific, I was born and raised as a Roman Catholic. But I did not know this truth about salvation because I think most of traditional churches only teach about the dogmas, about the traditions, until I have to find myself the truth, the real truth. And I, 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 when I was growing, I never read Bible actually, you know. I'm lazy to read. But then when the conviction came in my life, I began to search the truth of life. And that is where I was led, which I believe now it is the Holy Spirit of God who has led me to read the Bible. And I saw so many truths that has set me free. So many confusion being cleared. So many doubts being answered. And one of the greatest revelation and truth, and I'm telling you this, this is the truth. It's between spiritual life and spiritual death and the future of our life. The truth is found in Acts chapter 4 verse 12, whereby it is mentioned that there is only one name. There is no other name, which is Jesus Christ, our Lord. That's the truth of it. That's the only name that was given by God to men in whereby we can be saved. Salvation is very crucial. Salvation talks about the present and afterlife. Do you understand what I mean? We are living under so many, many dangers now in this world. But when you know Jesus Christ and that name, that is the only name that you may be saved. We talk about today. You have to call upon the name of the Lord. You have to pray in the name of Jesus. This is not a command from me. This is the truth. You have to know him in the intimate way. He is the only one person that is given by God who created the heaven and the earth in whereby we are saved. You will receive the salvation. And because of that, we can live because of this name, we can survive. Talks about life after death. You want to go to heaven, there is no other name. There is no bridge. There is no way you can go. I remember Jesus even said in John chapter 14 verse 6, He said, I am the only way. The only way, the truth and the life. No one can come to the Father in heaven except through me. Mean, if you ever pray, if you ever seek other way, whether it is a religious name, 
whether it is a saint or it is an angel, you will not reach out to heaven. When we die, our spirit and soul will not go to heaven. If you ever prayed or seek for another religious figure or name, that is the truth. I'm speaking to you not for myself, but I'm talking to you because of what the Bible say. And I put my faith in that. When I read this, ah, I said I should stop praying to other saints. Even pray to Mary or pray to the Pope or pray to the saint or pray to, to the angel or even other things. I began to understand that no, it will not reach to heaven. It will not bring me to heaven. There's no other name mean I cannot compromise of what the Bible say, what the apostles and disciples of Jesus ever say. I have to follow and I have to accept. I have to embrace this Bible truth and word that is spoken by the disciple of Christ about who Jesus Christ is. Salvation of your soul, salvation of your spirit, salvation of your body, even now and after life. There is no other way. If you never accept that there's only one name, then I'm sad to say you will not enter heaven. You will not be saved. Even though your religion tell me so. In my, in my Roman Catholic religion, they told me about so many. You have to pray to this, you have to pray to that, you have to pray to this. But none of that. I prefer with a legal documents and truth that is written in the Bible, not by man, but by the Bible itself, that salvation can be found in only one name. Salvation is protection. Salvation is about deliverance. Salvation is also meaning healings. Salvation is also meaning you are being released from the error into the truth of the matter by the word of God. What a wonderful revelation it is. If you want to start in life of right standing in the presence of God, it must be through Jesus Christ. When I revealed that, I said, Lord, I repent from all my sin. I repent from all the error of my life. This is why I understand. This is the beginning of life. Unless you have repented, you will never, never see salvation now in life. Salvation and protection and also after life, after we die, after we leave this earth. Only one name. Under the heaven, under the heaven that is given. That is the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Yeshu, or Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you.